Okay, so we've got our outlines of what we want to do. I'm going to clean up a couple of little things again. Things that we don't need. We're going to start getting this a little cleaner as we are almost done with our full outline of the face. We can get rid of these little cross lines that we made. Just be real careful. Just get rid of it. We call them stray lines or lines that we don't need anymore. Lines that have helped us get to where we are now. Can now go and rest. Go rest. Alright. And again, don't worry if you get a couple of the lines you need. E erased by accident while you're doing this and just go back put those lines back in oh. okay let's see I'm gonna start making some of these details a little bit better on the top here You see here like this is still real scratchy and that's fine I don't know exactly the shape of that egg yet we know it's gonna have cracks and breaking and I'm just gonna go use that as guidelines to continue our drawing okay so we're just gonna start making these lines of this this broken egg a little bit more defined. So we start smoothing out the choppy edges that we've had. To get a more definite shape. So we can see it in all its glory. I've got a little broken piece here. Just some little choppy lines. Then I think we're gonna have this insides kind of go over a little bit. As it's oozing down his head. We're gonna have some spots where you'll be able to see the broken egg. Let's give this a little bit more of a crack there. Again, this is all whatever you decide. It's your world, your broken egg. A little bit more of that down here. Just continue to pushing a little bit harder than we were before still don't want to push too hard because you don't want to damage the paper okay now let's go ahead and before we get into all these details I want to get the bottom of my egg to find more because that's the one I have real choppy right now I'm going to get some of these lines darkened up. <clears throat> okay, now, as you can see, I got a lot of little. Let's see if you can see that there. I have a lot of little small lines that I want to get rid of. I'm just going to 
real carefully. Lightly erase. Those stray lines. You see how it took off some of my ear here. So we'll just put my ear back on. As long as you keep it light, there's no problem in doing this a few times. There may come a time where it may have done it a little too much and it might start tearing up the paper. We'll worry we'll about that when we get that. Right now we've got plenty of room. Plenty of room to play around. Okay, we're going to take this dig here where it too is now cracked, broken, and shambles. of where the two are meeting up here. I'm going to start putting in some of these little breaks. You don't need a hard line between these two because they're still kind of attached there. In my world at least. Give it a big crack here. up. We'll do that in a little bit right now. Let's put some more on this side. Some more of the brakes. Some of these cracks you can be real nice and loose. Just put a few indicating that this thing got broke. Yeah, I want that. I'm gonna take uh, this part off. We're gonna have the ooze of the egg here. Okay, I might have a little, about a little small one here. That's looking good. Now, I'm going to use a different pencil. The pencil I was using is a 0.5 millimeter, um, which is a little bit smaller of a lid for details. But if you're using uh, a pen that's kind of thick, or a pencil that's kind of thick, then you should be all right with this part too. I like the thicker ones for my shading, just because they're not they don't have such a hard point on them so you don't tear up the paper in trying to make shading so we're going to just put a little bit of shadows in there what you can do is take a q-tip if you have anything like a stubby or a tartillion or a little paintbrush that you use only for drawing now would be the time you can use it this is a tartillion um, in this case, I'm keeping it real simple and light, so I would do a Q-tip. Just an everyday Q-tip. We're just going to try and stay inside where we shadow. Now, in using a Q-tip, you can't always see what you're hitting, so you're going to accidentally go over your line, and that's fine. We'll adjust all that after. We're just trying to keep ourselves 
in the realization that that will be a shadow so that when we come back to this um, drawing for this part of the drawing we will know what we were trying to do here let's give some more on this side this guy's gonna be a little bit more uh, opened up here because this chunk here has to have fit somewhere Try to do it in the direction of the shadow. So in this case, the direction was this way. So I try to turn my Q-tip that way. And then we're going to do the same with our drawing. We come back over here, use the same pencil, just to create harder line there for the outside shell that's there. There we go. Let's give it a little more indications and a little bit. Bring that in. And you can also use some of that for this drippy yolk substance coming down here. Kind of give it some definition. All right, I'm gonna go back to my regular uh, harder pencil for this, just to get this outline going again. And now's where we can start cleaning up and cleaning up again. I know we do a few stages of cleaning up. That's uh, that's just the way I do it. It helps get everything situated. That would be where his ear joins there. And then we can even put some little indications of fur right there. Just clean up some more of these lines. Now that we know more of that how more or less how it's going to be and if we like it we're just cleaning them up there we go Okay, then we're going to adjust this, and let's erase right here where that where we made those eyeball indications. Okay, now we've got our main structure 
and he's uh, looking adorable. Per huge. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and start using the bigger pencil I was telling you about, the 0.7, because I just want to do more shadowing and shading. And again, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you're using number two pencil, it could do it for all of this. Um, it's just my preference to sometimes use that smaller pencil. It's more comfortable for me and it helps me do a cleaner line. But this pencil, being that it's a little bit thicker of a point, is able to give me broader lines and the lead is able to smear better. <clears throat> and we might be using the smearing effect like I did up here throughout the rest of this guy once we get more of this down. For that reason, I'm going to use... Sorry, my cat decided to knock the uh, camera. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so for that reason, I'm going to use this guy because I'm probably going to be able to use more of the lead from it to do what what we call smear, which is what we did up here. Smearing or smudging. All right. All right, now let's see. We can also use it to try and start figuring out the rest of it. I want to, I want his chin to be right there. Just a cute little bump for a chin. I'm going to give him like three whiskers. I'm just going to do it real light because we're trying to see how it's going to look. Hmm. I don't know. No, no, yet. Let's see. See how I'm just going to go back and forth redoing things. I'm trying to place out how I like it, how I want to see it. Alright, and I've decided I like this better than I had these. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to use those. So to make sure I don't forget, I'm going to erase those that I don't want. Then we gotta step back and see do we like the full effect? And I think I kinda do. Let's see, we can take this chin. Give it the indication there. Then we can give bring that chin down a little bit so that we can adjust. For that line. All right, bring that there and bring that there. All right, then we're gonna take that off the chin. Yeah. Now we got our little bunny's face.
Okay, now, here's what we're going to do. This bunny is going to be a little chibi style, which means he won't have much of a body. He's going to have a little tiny body. So, we're going to start plotting the body in the next video. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this and you can stick around for the next video to get the body. And maybe we can finish off the whole thing with it because the body's just going to be little tiny circle with big old feet and maybe another egg or two in there and uh, what you can do for now we can clean up the rest of our lines because we no longer need these bottom lines here so now would be the time to just get rid of all the stray lines and then what I'm going to do off camera is get rid of all the stray lines and clean up the lines that do exist currently and join you back in the next video thank you for watching